Hi, I'm Paul Alger from the UK Fashion and Textile Association, and I'm here today as part of UKRT's British Textile Week in association with the Clockworkers Company and the Campaign for Wool. We're celebrating the craftsmanship, creativity and innovation of the UK textile industry and I'm delighted to be joined today by Margaret McLeod of Harris Tweed Hebrides. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Mm. Lovely to speak to you, Paul. Margaret, in a couple of words, can you tell us briefly about Harris Tweed Hebrides? Sure, at Harris Tweed Hebrides, we're based um, up on the west coast of the Isle of Lewis and Harris. We're the main producer for all the Harris Tweed fabric that's manufactured in the Hebrides. And we employ 70 people here at the mill directly. And we have work going out to the contracted self-employed home weavers, where we're working with about 100 self-employed home weavers. So um, we're a pretty big employer for the Outer Hebrides and um, we are busy up here trying to um, focus on the season ahead of us. Which of course is an interesting season as we all know. Absolutely, yeah. Um, a lot of our people watching may not necessarily understand how Harris Tweed works and how it, what makes it special. What is special about Harris Tweed? Well, Harris Tweed is a 100% wool fabric. We um, always start with 100% um, pure new wool. It's been scoured before it comes to our mill, but it comes to our mill as, as raw wool, and we always start with fibre dyeing that wool. So each and every stage of the manufacturing process from the fibre stage right through to the finished fabric must be happening on the islands um, of the Outer Hebrides of Scotland. And that's protected by the, the Act of Parliament and the orb symbol that's easily recognised. But that Act of Parliament um, has been really critical to keeping the survival of our industry and now protecting um, our industry from the generations to come. So that Act specifies how we manufacture our fabric. And what's really special about Harris Tweed um, still is the amount of, of people from the island still involved in that process. So each stage of the mill manufacturing process has um, quality and craftsmanship around that as we're working with the, the mill team. And then when the, the warps go out to the home weavers, that skill of home weaving, the very much the, the human input is still there for every stage of, of manufacturing Harris Tweed fabric. We, we hear often talking about the crofters, and I always have this romantic um, idea in my mind about these crofters living in a little peat-heated cottage somewhere. Is it really like that? <laughs> well, lots of our weavers and our, our mill team live um, in the, the outskirts of the islands, so very much um, rural living is, is what's happening up here on the islands. A lot of people do live on crofts, although their, their homes and their weaving sheds might be considered a little bit more luxurious than the description you gave, but um, very much still homes heated with peat. And um, yeah, we're, we're living on our crofts. So lots of people who work here will keep their own sheep and some of that island clip from the sheep will be coming in and will be part of the wool that we'll be using. So crofting and working with sheep in particular and cattle on a very small scale which is what crofting's about small scale farming is very much still happening on these islands and very much part of our community and is that sustainable for the long term i mean it's obviously a conversation that we have a lot but how sustainable is it well, we would um, hope that it, it is absolutely sustainable. This small scale crofting model has been around um, all of the, the 20th century and has been very successful in maintaining um, a small, modest living for people. You, you can't make a, a living as you might as a farmer from crofting. However, there's a small, modest income there. Um, and people are doing it um, as a hobby as well and maintaining a rural way of life is important to people as they work in their, their communities. So crofting and, and maintaining sheep and the whole um, activity on island around sheep and around um, crofting is, is still really, really important for us. And we see that continuing on our island for hopefully the, the decades to come. That's brilliant. Thank you. 
Which are your key markets? Um, obviously, my point of view, I'm looking primarily for export markets, but it could be the UK as well. Absolutely. The UK is a very important market for us. Um, obviously, this year, exceptional circumstances, and, and that's a, a very challenging market for everyone this year in the UK. But about 60% of our output would normally be exported on an annual basis. And um, in terms of export markets for us, Japan's particularly important for us, South Korea, um, America, Germany, France, Italy. These are our kind of key locations, although the, our Harris Tweed is literally going around the world. We, when we look at our, our review, our sales at the end of the year, it's amazing how many countries um, we've sent Harris Tweed to from the islands. That's brilliant. And are you working with a number of designers? I know that recently British designers in particular have fallen in love again with the unique properties and the amazing colours that you're able to create as part of Harris Tweed. Um, are there any names that come to mind that you're willing to share? I know that a lot of this is secret, but... Yes, we, we like to keep our, our um, order book fairly tight. Um, however, we've got some very high profile um, designers in the UK that come back and work with us year after year. Um, and we're really um, grateful for that support and their continued support is so important to maintaining the, the stability of our industry on the, the islands here. So we're working with people like um, Vivian Westwood, um, continues year after year to be a great supporter of Harris Tweed. You will see our, our, our label um, appearing on her products as well, which is again really important just to, to reinforce the, the quality of our fabric. And that colour that you mentioned is so important. We, we are always fibre dyeing and we're very well known for the, the richness and that depth of colour that we can offer. So yeah, we, we see the, the British designers working with us year after year and we certainly hope um, no matter how we get through the coming season, we are very much an autumn winter fabric and a, an autumn winter focused company in terms of, of sales. So um, that coming season, we're finding new ways to reach out to our customers and continue the, the ordering and the swatching and the sample lengths that hopefully we'll see coming through. Thank you, Margaret. Um, one last question for me, and this is sometimes a little bit contentious, but um, what in your view makes British textiles, and I suppose in your particular case, Hebridean textiles, unique? What, what's, the, what's the fascination with them? Why should we be celebrating them? Well, I think like many other British textile companies, um, we have a, a, a massive history behind us. We have decades of history behind us and our, our roots are very much in the UK and on this island of, of Lewis and Harris in particular. Um, our message around sustainability and, and maintaining sustainable rural employment um, using 100% pure new wool, I think has come back into fashion a lot recently. And it, it's um, similar to other UK textile companies. We, we're producing a quality product. We have a, a very good product to offer the market and now a very relevant product to offer the market in terms of how we manufacture um, and the processes around our manufacturing that we're, you know, we're very open about and, and we can certainly um, hold our heads high and, and offer to our customers a very high quality fabric. As I saw for myself when I came to see you a couple of years ago with Her Royal Highness Princess Royal, UKT's president, and we visited your new dye house, for example, where you've made some massive investments, but also had time to come and see the beauty and the colours of the island and spend a little bit of time looking at the Cavendish stones. It really is a beautiful part of the world. Margaret, thank you very much for that. Um, I've been talking to Margaret McLeod from Harris Street Hebrides. Uh, my name is Paul Alger and we're here to uh, celebrate British Textile Week. Thanks, Paul.